This is my saber, and there's no other like it. Hello, my friends. I'm Darth Paradigm. It's probably been, I would say, one of the most heartbreaking couple weeks of my life. Um, but as they say, one should just get right back up on the horse and um, dust themselves off and, uh, you know, record a video. <laughs> so I'm going to do this out of uh, a sense of self therapy by showing you my Sabre Forge um, Reliant. <laughs> Name eluded me for a second there. Um, I'm not exactly sure what version of the Reliant this is, uh, but it is installed with a uh, CFX board and NeoPixel uh, by Sith Lord Sabres, and I will show you the chassis in just a moment. So this beauty is um, powder coated, and it has a bit of a custom weathering to it it also has a uh, leather wrap and it's 12 and 1 8 inches long and uh it's a beautiful beautiful saber to behold it has a control box which doesn't control anything really there's some imperfections in the powder coating that's how i knew it was powder coated and there's a Beautiful little greeble there. Greebly, what have you. Here's the pommel and insert. It's a very loud saber with a 28 in, uh, 28 millimeter, uh, very bassy speaker. Came with a uh, brass colored um, cover tech wheel. I actually kind of like a cover tech wheel um, that's colored to clash with the the rest of the hilt a little bit. I don't know, for some reason that appeals to me, and brass seems to uh, do the job. Brass or copper. Um, gold is a little bit too bright. I like my sabers to be a little bit more subdued. I don't like them to be too uh, too pretty. I like them to look like they've been, uh, you know, kind of beat up, which is uh, apparent with these switches here. The bottom switch is uh, the auxiliary switch. The top switch is activates the saber and uh you have your uh various and sundry retention screws and that's the retention screw to keep the blade in place here's the emitter i have a nice saber forge uh blade plug in there If any of you have any idea what model Reliant this is, please do share in the comments. I would uh, definitely appreciate um, the information because I've, I've looked it up. I've looked at various and sundry pictures of the, uh, the Mark I and the Mark II, and I can't find one exactly like this. This may be uh, a prototype or, or it could have been a scratch and dent hilt maybe that, I don't know, just a lot of times with the uh, with the Saber Forge products, it's it's not always easy to... <laughs> to tell like you know the era or uh, the model because uh, i i think saber forge has this tendency of doing a lot of experimenting here's another view of the switches here's the chassis uh, the chassis is kind of plugged into the pommel as you can see the speaker is not accessible it'd be probably a real process to change out the speaker the epoxy would have to be removed now the battery, a lithium-ion 18650 battery, as you can see, um, kind of snaps into place, but it's rather on the loose side inside this uh, chassis. So I found a plastic um, or, or more of a rubber um, tie from uh, from packaging for a transformer that I reused and repurposed because those ties tend to be fairly resilient. They're designed to last and sit on a shelf for ages and hold something in place. So I figured it was the perfect, uh, um, the perfect, uh, material to use to hold the battery in place. 
so that's not too much of an issue. And there you have the soundboard with the micro SD card. And the pins, uh, these are not the pins that uh, make contact with the blade. The actual contact is uh, somewhere in here. And then this, you know, whole assemblage here with the pens just about here that make contact with the blade. So it's a really interesting, uh, it's a really interesting system. It works very well. And uh, if I can, if I can get it to show up, I think, yeah, right here. S L S Sith Lord Saber. So that's uh, pretty much a defining uh, feature of the chassis and uh, lets me know uh, where the installer originated from. So as far as handling this thing, um, when your fingers fall right here, the natural tendency is to hold the saber this way. My fingers tend to land right here on the switches. And uh, because of that, I, I have this tendency of, although I try to maintain a loose grip with a kind of a heavier hilt like this, I'll strangle the saber a little bit and that'll you know, cause the uh, the saber to to turn off in mid swing. Uh, so you know, I've tried handling it here, and I've tried various uh, you know positions, and kind of one of the ones that sort of works is to take the control box and sort of palm it a little bit, and uh, that definitely uh, that definitely seems to to work fairly well as long as my hand doesn't wander too much on the hilt. Now for this saber. I've pretty much just been using BK Saber Sounds The Smuggler, which you can buy exclusively through uh, Smuggler's Outpost. And it really just seems to fit the Saber very well. Now the other thing is, gripping it here, it, it tends to make me not grip it too hard, because obviously with the edges and everything, it's a little bit uncomfortable, but... But it's a pretty spry saber. Currently, I have a 32 inch, um, um, a 32 inch uh, silk finished blade from uh, the Saber Merchant, and uh, that's, I think it's the Saber Merchant. I get confused. It's like I buy some place from the Saber Merchant, and I I buy, uh, uh, oh god, I buy my. Uh, my regular uh, polycarbonate blades from another company on Etsy, whose name I, I can't remember right now because my brain is addled because I've just been through too much lately. But um, <laughs> actually, I think I'll put a listing for uh, both those stores on uh, in the description below. Anyway, so where were we? Yada yada yada. Uh, lightsaber uh, CFX. So. As I said, it's a plenty loud saber. Really nice install. Um, I bought this from the uh, saber, uh, saber blah, 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 the Facebook Marketplace. So uh, that's where this originated from. So a lot of the sabers I buy tend to originate from the uh, Facebook Marketplace these days. Some of them come from eBay, but I rarely buy them direct from uh, stores because, well, to be quite frank, um, they're less expensive when you buy them secondhand, and uh, you don't have to wait months and months and months and months and months and months and months. So um, that's uh, that's definitely uh, that's definitely a good uh, a good deal, if you ask me. Anyway, in my opinion, I like buying my second secondhand. That's that's kind of that's kind of my gig. Uh, anyway, so there you have it. That's my uh, my Saberforge Reliant. Very, very custom. Very, very, um, uh, very, very mysterious. Because, like I said, I don't know uh, what model this is. And, uh, well, maybe someone out there does know. Because I don't. I did all kinds of research, and I was not able to figure it out. Anyway, um, that wraps up this video. I thank everyone for watching. I, I just want to thank everyone for the outpouring of love and support uh, that I received um, last week. 
when um you know when I lost my cat when dark he uh left this mortal coil and uh and the the love and the and the compassion and everything from the saber community it it really meant a lot to me and um it really helped um you have no idea so my love to each and every one of you uh you guys are are my heroes and um yeah that's it so uh basically thank you for watching may the force be with you and um i'll catch you guys in the next video take care now bye